Now on the BDSU fraud accusations, what an ex-high-ranking Orleans Parish Sheriff's deputy is accused of doing that has him on the other side of the law. Also, the state of Hollywood South, the possibility of the glitz and glamour of television and movie making may be coming to an end in Louisiana. And we have plenty of clouds around this morning and some showers taking place right now. I'll let you know how your forecast is looking today and also your Easter forecast coming up. Live, local, late breaking. This is WDSU News This Morning. And good Saturday morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kara Reyna alongside meteorologist Jesse Venturella. Now, a lot of folks around running the um, Crescent City um, Classic right now. A lot of them hitting the finish line, of course. But some of you are be out and about, and I bet doing some last-minute Easter shopping, whether it's a church dress or a church suit, or maybe some goodies for the kids for their Easter baskets. You know, how should we prepare for the day? All right, well, it's going to be warm as we head into this afternoon, and most of us won't see much rainfall today at all. We're only looking at about a 20% chance. We've had plenty of storms around in the overnight hours and continuing right now close to the coast, but even that's starting to taper off a bit. Take a look at the satellite and radar picture, and what you're seeing now are some showers and storms, the bulk of it now offshore and pushing off toward Mobile and the Florida Pan handle but we still have a few uh, showers and storms around us this is kind of what's left we had some strong ones earlier around Plaquemines Parish but right now a little bit of rainfall there just north of uh, Jean Lafitte and we're also seeing some uh, showers just east of uh, Galliano and all this is moving quickly off to the northeast but they're starting to lose their steam a little bit we saw plenty of lightning at the beginning of the loop and you can see by the end of the loop there uh, that lightning is decreasing so that tells us these storms are losing a bit of their intensity but for the rest of the day we'll keep about a 20 percent chance of a shower or storm and again most of that chance will be close to the coast even as we head into this afternoon but that's going to change as we go into tomorrow and i'll get into that in just a second but look look at the uh, temperatures on the north shore upper 50s right now up there so still hanging in the 50s most of us on the south shore are in the uh, mid 60s now Still 59 over in Homa, though, and upper 50s over in the Mississippi Gulf Coast. Winds are light out of the east for now at about 5 to 10. They'll eventually shift out of the southeast by later on this afternoon and evening at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And they're going to shift out of the southeast because we're going to have a warm front moving to the north by tonight. It'll be right over us tomorrow. So that's what's going to be increasing our rain chances, unfortunately, for Easter Sunday tomorrow. Now, notice today's hour of our forecast, 66 at 10 a.m., 71 by 1 o'clock. High temperature getting up to about 75 and then 72 by 7 o'clock, 69 by 10. We'll keep that 20% chance of rainfall for the entire day, mostly located near the coast. Now, we'll check out that forecast model and time out the rainfall for tomorrow, coming up in just a few minutes in the full forecast. Fair. All right, Jesse, thanks. Also new this morning, officials have issued an arrest warrant for a suspect wanted in the connection of this week's deadly attacks in Brussels. Belgian prosecutors have identified the suspect as Fakel Shefu. He's a freelance journalist. Now they say he is the man seen fleeing the airport in Brussels after the suicide bombing that killed two alleged accomplices. Well, because of lingering security concerns in Brussels, pop diva Mariah Carey has canceled an upcoming show there. The singer was supposed to perform this Sunday, which is also her 46th birthday. Well, she treated, she actually tweeted on Friday saying, quote, I love my fans in Brussels, and at this time, I am being advised to cancel my show for the safety of my fans, my band, crew, and everyone involved with the tour. 31 people were killed, and 300 more were wounded Tuesday in a terror attack in Brussels. ISIS claimed responsibility for the attack. Also new this morning, a former Orleans Parish Sheriff's deputy has been charged with conspiracy to commit fraud. Officials say Roy Austin used a ghost employees to uh, have them attached to an invoice at security events. Well, they add that he used a private company to pad bills and some of the extra money received was put into a corporate bank account for personal use. If convicted, he faces up to five years in prison and a $250,000 fine. Also, Sheriff Marlon Gusman did release a statement in response to the accusations against Roy Austin, saying, quote, The Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office has cooperated with each step of the investigation involving Roy Austin. Austin led the OPSO last year. The activities announced are independent of OPSO business and related to a private business that Austin allegedly created. Since this remains an ongoing investigation, the OPSO directs all questions for information to the U.S. Attorney's Office.
Right now, thousands of people are pounding the pavement from the CBD to Mid-City for the 38th annual Crescent City Classic. Here's a live look outside there for you on the left side of the screen there. You can see a view above in the CBD, also where the race kicked off, and then on the right side is the finish lane at City Park. Uh, events, of course, take the runners down Porges Street, up to Decatur Street, across Esplanade Avenue, onto City Park to the finish line. So you may want to avoid these areas for a few more hours until things wrap up. Speaking of wrapping up, it could be a wrap for a local film production facility. That says it can pack up at the end of the month. With state budget talks plus changes in the film industry tax initiatives last year, it's causing great concern among those in the film industry. WDSU's Casey Ferran finds out if Hollywood South is headed south. Uh, I started here in New Orleans in 1971. Uh, we mostly did TV commercials then. But in the past decade, tax incentives created a boom in the film industry, drawing productions large and small. There have been a lot of uh, infrastructure uh, improvements over those years. Many studios built in town. Several. We were the last. But George Steiner, president of Filmworks New Orleans, will be closing his studio on March 31st. The production facility worked on eight movies since opening a year and a half ago. It's been dead for months and we see no future. Steiner says with state legislators considering further cutting tax incentives during recent budget talks, some are not willing to set up shop here anymore. If, if I'm going to make a movie now and expect to get money back six months after I finish or something like that, and they decide in August they're not going to do this anymore, then I might not get my money. I, I don't think this is the beginning of the end. I just think that this is... Uh normal business economic activity. Stan Gill produces films locally. He says though there is uncertainty among industry buffs and film crews, it's not time to jump ship. I can't tell anybody that it's going to get better when they haven't worked on a production in the last two months. All I can say is, is that I really don't think that it's going to dry up overnight. He says there's simply a lull in production and not enough infrastructure to keep up with the real Hollywood, which rarely runs out of work. Those productions go on for numerous months and employ an awful lot of people that allow crew members and talent to afford to live here, buy a house, have an apartment, go do the things that you know they want to do and raise a family here. And then in between projects when they're not working, work on smaller projects and that ecosystem right now is definitely at a roll. Right now there is a feature film, an independent film, and three TV series being filmed. Uh, later on, or they'll be starting to be filmed in the New Orleans area in the next couple of months. No live animals for Easter. Why animal advocates are asking people to stick to candied or chocolate versions instead. And a live look outside is going to be a glorious day, but you may want to take a sweater before the sun comes out. It's supposed to warm up, folks. Good news. You're watching WDSU News this morning.